Well, Trace, it's nearly the uh, end of the football season, getting close to finals time. So um, about this time of year, it's funny, we tend to catch up with Greg Champion. I don't know it's because we're going to talk footy and cricket. We end up talking about everything. But he's got a brand new single out, so we'll try and stick to the music tonight. Okay. Champs, hoping. thanks for joining us, and congratulations on yet another new single. Well, thanks for having us on, and happy to be here. Mate, Red Heart, I love the story, the lyric, tying the it into Australia, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes, the song sort of uh, what it means to be Australian. That's what I'm hoping people get out of it. Well, do you know what? It reminded me a lot of the song uh, Land Down Under. You know, we talk about Vegemite, we talk about all that sort of stuff that is so relevant to us. And you're talking about, you know, the cricket bat in the shed. And straight away when you say, I've got a story, everybody has a story about the cricket bat in the shed. Really happy to hear that. That's, it has had comparisons to Great Southern Land mm. and out on the back porch we sit, that um, Ganga Jang yeah. song. Sounds of then. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And Solid Rock uh, yeah. has that sort of a feeling about it. And when you talk about stories about cricket bats in the shed, I'm also uh, dropping a hint to the song I made 100 in the Backyard. As yeah, well. exactly. You know, it, is, it is an Aussie song and that's all I can say about it. You want an Aussie song, here, here it is. Mm. Uh, a tricky canvas to paint. But I actually had the song started it in, in 19, late 80s and it just sat there in my head for well over 25 years. And then one day it was in my head again. I thought it's time to go and record this. And it took me two years to get it where I wanted it. I believe that it is time for something to come out like that because there is a lot of doom and gloom in the world. And I think a lot of people have forgotten who they are and, and what they're doing. So to bring back all these memories is like, you know what, we had fun. Why can't we still be having the same fun and bring back those memories? So, you know, I'm happy for that as well. Well, I'm happy if it's, if it's a good timing from that respect, but often it could be, just be that um, in your own head. If a song starts running around your head that you, you, you made up 25 years ago, it feels like a sign. I'm going to share you with you one of my favourite quotes of all time, because I think it's relevant here. The most powerful thing in the world is an idea whose time has come. Mm. Well, there you go. So I'll take your quote and I'll raise you a quote. Because I read this as a teenager and it's stuck. Publishing a volume of poetry is like dropping a rose petal down the Grand Canyon and waiting for the echo. Sometimes it feels like this songwriting game is just uh, you're dropping a lot of rose petals down the Grand Canyon. You know, uh, getting sort of a song notice is a a Herculean task. But uh, I, I, I haven't seen the chart today. Have you seen the new chart today? Greg Champion sitting at number 15 uh, number fifteen this week with Red Heart. And this well, is the third week at number 15. Ouch. That's a bit scary. Looks like it's stuck on 15. Hey, but it's only been <laughs> hey, in the charts for it, four yeah. weeks. And well, it's... well, you've seen how the songs move up and down that country yeah. chart. And they have wild swings and they can go way up early and, way, and down quickly. So mm. uh, I hope it can move up from 15. But uh, three weeks of 15, mm, scary signs. We'll, we'll do we'll do our best because we're going to well, play it tonight. We're doing the right well, thing. For right. It. I'm very grateful for the fact that you're um, talking about it anyway. Well, there you go, folks. If you uh, like what you hear tonight and you get in touch with Greg, get him. Uh, let him know on his Facebook website. Twitter, Instagram, Pokemon, whatever it is that he's got going at the time, um, get in there and uh, and let him know. Greg, it's so good to catch up with you, and we'll uh, we'll do it again soon. Can I just confess before I go, with the electric guitar on that song, I was putting it on on the demo version until uh, we got a proper guitarist in, and my publisher, I uh, sent it to my publisher, and he said, "No, no, leave it. it. Sounds like Neil Young. Leave it like it is." Uh, I said, "Well, that's because I only got a couple of tricks," and he said, "Well, so is Neil Young," and so we left the electric guitar like it was. Let's have a listen to it right now. Here is Greg Champion. Thanks for joining us, Greg, and Red Heart.